Have you ever heard someone talk about turmeric, also known as curcumin? Do you have any idea what it is? Is it safe to eat it every day? Is it good for your health? Is it bad? What are the benefits that this plant can bring to you? What are the possible side effects and harms that it can bring to you? Have you ever felt tiredness, chronic fatigue, skin allergies, muscle and joint pain, lack of memory and concentration? All of these symptoms indicate that your body is inflamed. And since turmeric is known in India for its anti-inflammatory action, do you think that it's possible to fix these symptoms by just consuming turmeric every day? Does it also have those anti-cancer actions and effects that a lot of people talk about? Or is it just a myth? Well, hello there! In this video, I'm gonna tell to you about this miraculous root called turmeric or curcumin and what improvements you will notice if you start using it daily. Also, at the end of the video, I'll teach you how to make the golden milk, which is an Indian drink that combines the effects of turmeric, ginger and black pepper and can be used to activate your metabolism and even help you lose weight. I will also teach you how to prepare turmeric, tea and what you must do so that your body can absorb and use it properly and even amplify its effects by about 2000%. After just an hour of consuming it, you will already start to feel its effects, which can last up to 30 days. All right, let's go. Let's start from the beginning. Where did turmeric originate from? Well, the use of turmeric, also known as curcumin, began in India 4,000 years ago. Now, where does it come from? It is the root of a plant related to ginger and is considered by many as the queen of all spices or even the golden spice being used as a medicinal ingredient not only in India but also in a lot of other Asian countries. It is also very delicious being used in India as the main ingredient on curry and being also used in rice, vegetables, lentils and also working and to give some flavor and color in meats and even in desserts. The active ingredient of turmeric is a polyphenol called curcumin. It is a substance that in addition to being in charge of giving it its characteristic yellowish or orange-ish color, it is also responsible for the effects that it has on the body. Now, you have to pay special attention here. Because there is a fact that you must understand. Turmeric is scientifically proven to be a natural antioxidant and an anti-inflammatory. This means that it helps to protect our cells and our DNA from damage caused by free radicals that originate from pollution, sunlight and even your natural cellular metabolism. These types of damage are involved in a myriad of diseases that destroy lives and leave millions of people with disabilities, such as cancer, arteriosclerosis, and also is one of the main causing factors behind a lot of diseases like heart attacks, dementia, premature aging, and hypertension. But you will see that there is a small problem with turmeric. The main problem is that curcumin, which is the main active ingredient, is actually very unstable. In other words, if you overheat it, it breaks and it becomes inactive. And if you consume it alone without nothing else, your body does not absorb it and it just eliminates it quickly. So you need to take certain precautions in order to actually use it efficiently. The main trick here is that you must combine turmeric with a certain other ingredient in order to be able to absorb and use it. The best candidate here is black pepper, specifically because of the piperine that it contains. To put it in perspective, if you only use turmeric by itself in your salads or stews, you will absorb close to nothing of it. Now, if you combine it with black pepper, you will be able to absorb up to 2000% more. And for those of you that want a more practical way to use it, you can get directly manipulated capsules 
where they mix curcumin and piperine in the capsule. And do not worry, I'm gonna tell you the dosage that is usually recommended in order to clear any confusion you might have before you ask for it to be manufactured. But first, what are the other effects of turmeric in your body and how will they affect you if you take it every day? Well, the first effect is that it can relieve joint pain and arthritis. Without a doubt, this is the most known benefit of turmeric, since it has been used by women with arthritis and chronic pain for a long time. 1 to 2 grams of turmeric every day for 8 weeks has been enough to show a dramatic decrease in the sensation of pain and inflammation in this patient's joints. And I tell you even more, the effect was so good that it was even compared to ibuprofen and diclofenac, which are anti-inflammatory medications. Some doctors even call it the natural ibuprofen for its tremendous anti-inflammatory and analgesic properties. And right away I'm going to tell you how to use turmeric to obtain these effects. But first, let's go to effect number two. It can help you with your blood sugar. Some studies indicate that curcuma can help regulate blood sugar levels, which can be beneficial for people with diabetes or pre-diabetes. A 2013 review suggests that curcumin may lower blood glucose as well as other diabetes-related complications. They also found that curcumin may have a role in preventing diabetes, so if you are pre-diabetic or diabetic, add this golden spice to your meals. You have nothing to lose and everything to gain. The third effect is curcuma can aid in digestion. In traditional Indian medicine, turmeric has been used for centuries to treat various gastrointestinal problems. It possesses an antispasmodic effect, relaxing the smooth muscles on your digestive tract, thereby reducing stomach cramps and discomfort. It also has anti-inflammatory properties, which can be beneficial for individuals suffering from inflammatory bowel diseases, such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Additionally, turmeric can also stimulate the gallbladder to produce bile, which emulsifies fats and facilitates their absorption and digestion in the intestine. Now, effect number four is turmeric can assist with depression. Curcumin, which is the compound found in turmeric, can alleviate inflammation in the body. There's a lot of evidence linking inflammation to depression. Studies on curcumin have shown that it can increase brain levels of serotonin and dopamine, which are neurotransmitters that influentiate mood, well-being, and various cognitive functions, such as motivation, memory, and focus. Turmeric also protects mitochondria, the energy-producing structures in the cell, from oxidative damage. Remarkably, there are other studies that have indicated that consuming curcumin can improve attention, memory, and work performance within the first hour. Daily consumption of turmeric has been observed to reduce symptoms related to fatigue from day-to-day -day stress. For addressing depression, turmeric has proven to be an excellent natural remedy. A small study focused on individuals consuming one gram of turmeric a day for at least six weeks and saw significant improvements in depression comparable to the effects even of fluoxetine, which is a leading antidepressant. However, it's crucial to state, I'm not telling you to stop taking your medication. I'm just trying to help you add something that is natural to the medication you're already taking for depression, if you have it, okay? Effect number five is turmeric can enhance brain health. If you are concerned about memory loss or have a family history of dementia, consider this. Curcumin can cross the blood-brain barrier. A lot of animal studies suggest that curcumin can elevate brain levels of BDNF, 
a protein involved in memory and learning by promoting neural connection and division, potentially delaying or reversing many brain diseases. Curcumin has also been shown to reduce brain inflammation and to inhibit or break down amyloid plaques associated with Alzheimer's disease. Another compound in turmeric is turmeron, which has been studied for its capacity to stimulate brain cell production in animals, potentially aiding in neurodegenerative conditions like Alzheimer's disease. Effect number six, turmeric can protect your liver. For those with liver inflammation from non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, which is known as NASH, turmeric can help reduce inflammation. A small 2021 study involving individuals taking 2 grams of turmeric versus placebo for 8 weeks reported that there was a reduction in liver enzymes, SGOT and SGP, in the turmeric group. While it doesn't prevent the fat accumulation in the liver, it protects against inflammation, potentially adverting fibrosis and cirrhosis. However, excessive turmeric consumption can also harm the liver. There are case reports that have linked high dosages of turmeric supplements to liver damage. Therefore, moderation is key, and it is advisable to use natural turmeric in cooking, as is traditionally already done in Indian cuisine, rather than relying on supplements, which might contain a lot of unknown additives that might harm your health. Effect number seven is turmeric can strengthen your immune system. If you frequently catch colds or even the flu, boosting your immunity with turmeric might be beneficial. Curcumin's potent anti-inflammatory capabilities can modulate the immune system, activating T cells, B cells and macrophages. It's Antimicrobial properties are similar to those of ginger and combat viruses and bacteria while promoting gut health, which is crucial for immunity. Thus, turmeric can help protect against infections. Effect number eight is turmeric may alleviate PMS symptoms. Research suggests that turmeric can mitigate PMS symptoms like mood swings, irritability, bloating, breast tenderness fatigue, and even the body pain. As inflammation plays a role in many of the PMS symptoms, a 2015 study found that women that took curcumin experienced significant reduction in PMS severity compared to those that took placebo. Effect number nine, it may have anti-cancer properties. In laboratory and animal studies, curcumin, which is found in turmeric, has demonstrated anti-cancer activity. This includes inhibiting the growth of cancer cells and preventing the formation of new blood vessels in tumors, which effectively cuts off their nourishment. Laboratory studies have shown that potential effects against lung, breast, prostate and colon cancers. One human study on individuals with colorectal cancer suggested that curcumin might help slow the disease progression. Another study indicated that daily consumption could lower the risk of cancer in high-risk individuals. Additionally, some research suggests that curcumin may enhance the effectiveness of certain chemotherapies. However, human results are still mixed, necessitating further research to confirm if curcumin can in fact prevent or treat cancer effectively. Regarding the optimal daily intake of turmeric, the recommended dosage includes 2 grams of turmeric paired with black pepper. This dosage aligns with what is used in most studies. And to achieve this, consuming half a teaspoon of turmeric powder equates to about 2 grams, along with a pinch of black pepper, which is enough to help the absorption of turmeric. It's crucial to not overheat it, as turmeric beneficial compounds are unstable. Add it towards the end of cooking. Avoid heating it for more than 10 minutes. As for potential side effects, consuming more than 2 grams, especially from 3 to 4 grams per day, 
may cause stomach upset, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, and in some sensitive individuals, it would be worse and would have presented more symptoms. Pregnant or breastfeeding women should consult a healthcare provider, as there are no studies validating turmeric safety for these groups. Now, on to the golden milk. This beverage harnesses the benefits of turmeric, ginger and black pepper combined with milk. To prepare it, you need to heat 200 to 300 milliliters, which is about a cup of animal or vegetable milk, such as soy milk, for instance, at a low heat and add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. And once warm, but not boiling, you need to incorporate half a teaspoon of ginger and a pinch of black pepper. You need to sweeten it to taste, but try to avoid using white sugar. This antioxidant and anti-inflammatory drink is recommended once a day. Now, I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please share it with your friends and family. Remember, your like can help save lives. I thank you very much for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.